It's really simple to form a double pleat. All you have to do is just pinch the top of the pleat, then squash it back down and where you pinched it at the top, it's just made a little mark. You want to make sure that that mark matches up with the back of the pleat, so squash them down together. Make sure it's nice and flat all the way down. And once it's nice and flat, we're just going to bring the two sides together. And as you can see, that forms a really nice little dainty double pleat. Now what you could do, if you want, is use a bulldog clip or a clip similar to this one to just hold the pleat in place whilst you sew it at the bottom if you find it useful. I just tend to hold it and then sew at the bottom. And what you need to do to sew it in place is take a length of double thread, make sure the ends are the same length and they're not knotted at the end. And we're just going to sew it in place just underneath the buckram. So you can fit, I can feel there, that's where the buckram's coming to an end, so that's where I need to sew. So I'm just going to push the needle through, take it all the way through without pulling the threads through. And I'm going to keep going backwards and forwards at the bottom of the buckram to sew this pleat in place. Sewing in a very similar place. Don't pull the threads too tight, otherwise you'll end up pulling them out. Once you've done two or three, then you can start to pull tighter. You're going to need to do this about ten times to make sure that this pleat is nice and secure at the bottom. And don't take the needle through the buckram because it will be really stiff to sew. So just coming in underneath. Once you've finished, you don't need to knot or anything, just trim the ends away. So one thing to make sure of when you're sewing in the bottom of the plate, make sure that the curtain is nice and flat underneath it, otherwise again you're going to end up sewing it a little bit wonky. So just make sure that all your layers are nice and flat underneath the bottom of the plate. And continue all the way across the bottom of the curtain panel. What I normally do is when I'm sewing in pleats, is I sew all the bottoms first and then I work back and sew all the tops. We're now going to secure the top of the pleat in place. So we're going to be joining this back seam here that we stitched with the middle centre of the pleat. So I'm just going to put a little mark there so you can see where you're aiming for when you sew. So again, taking your double thread, which is not knotted, bring it through the back of the pleat just very near the top and just coming up through the centre of the pleat at the front. Don't take it too tight otherwise you'll pull the threads out. And we're just going to sew over and over several times in the same place, as close to the top as you can. Obviously making sure that you get all the layers. You probably only need to do this about five times. It's a tiny little stitch, so you can barely see it from the front. And just trimming away the loose ends. 